Now let's jump to another good piece of news. It's like a good news week. And this comes from Spotify. I got a tweet from Josh Liston from Dead Set Podcasting, and he said, Chapters progression bar a la YouTube in Spotify. Show is one of my faves, Bandrew says, by podcastage. Josh, thank you very much for the incredibly kind words, but more importantly, thank you very much for bringing this to my attention. In order to verify this, I downloaded Spotify to make sure that it's available on iOS as well, and it is. I love timestamps. I love chapter markers, so I find the addition of this to podcasting on Spotify to be incredibly helpful, and this is something that I have been doing for seven years, eight years now. And it seems as though Spotify is simply looking into the episode notes of the podcast and using timestamps from the episode notes to create those chapters. So if you already have timestamps in your episode notes, go check on Spotify to see if they're there. I believe that Apple Podcasts does the exact same thing. I did for a few months embed chapters into my mp3s but it got to be a bit too much work and nobody really uses them most people use these pod catchers which do populate timestamps from the episode notes so it was kind of a waste of my time but as i mentioned i love this i love chapters i love timestamps i have been doing it for years for a very specific reason If you are coming to one of my videos for a specific piece of information, I want you to get that information as quickly as possible so you can go on about your day. I hate wasting people's time. I also hate when I go to YouTube videos or podcasts that cover multiple topics or do multiple tests and they don't include timestamps in the episode notes or description because when I see that, I just think they're retention farming. They're just trying to trick me into watching more of their video because that is beneficial for the algorithm. I understand it. I understand why they do it because succeeding on these platforms is incredibly difficult because they are algorithmically based and you want to get any benefits you can within the algorithm to try to get more recommendations and in turn more views, so I get it. But as a consumer of that content, curse you. Give me the information I want as quickly as possible. Respect my time. I understand completely that by adding timestamps to my review videos, which are now 20 minutes long, and adding timestamps to this podcast directly harms the performance in YouTube. I don't care. I am making videos. I am making podcasts for people, not algorithms. I don't give a hoot what these algorithms want. I want somebody who is gracious enough to spend any amount of time watching me or listening to me, I want to respect their time. So I want them to be able to come in, get what they want, and move on. So I think this is a huge plus for Spotify. I hope this is going to be motivation for more podcasters to start including timestamps. If you're a YouTuber, you should already be doing this. Respect your audience. Don't retention farm. Don't try to bait people into watching more and more of your videos. It just feels dirty, dude. Don't you feel dirty? (laughs) Don't you need to shout? Oh, I'm going to retention edit. I'm going to do crazy jump cuts all the time. He says knowing that he does jump cuts, but that is because I am terrible at speaking (laughs) and not because I am trying to make it interesting all the time. I don't have gameplay underneath me. I don't have somebody falling over above me. I don't have all these whoozy whatsies and swooshes and flips and whatevers to keep it interesting. (laughs) It's just me talking, which is why this is now so uninteresting. But I give you the timestamps so you can skip past it. Okay, (laughs) that is it for the news. That is it for my unplanned rant there. Stop wasting my time. Give me timestamps, you scum. 
you're not scum. I, I'm just impatient, and I have better stuff to do than to watch you talk about smashing the like button and whatever else. Ah, oh, God, I don't care. <laughs> I just, I don't care at all. It's so unbearable. <laughs>